new job, new day, I was gonna say new day, new job. We've got quite a big project coming up now, nothing small on this one, although there was gonna be a lot of small little jobs and niggly things that crop up, but basically, today we're gonna to be ripping out this bathroom. Lots of new stuff, snazzy bits and pieces planned for this. But before we can do any of that exciting stuff, we're gonna to have to rip it out. And it's a nasty job. Look at the thickness of these tiles here. Absolutely massive. Look at that. So all that's gotta come up. We're gonna be building partition walls. Um, we're gonna be doing all sorts. Uh, first thing is though, we've gotta get in here. You just heat there, there's your cylinder. And a big problem with that bathroom there, hopefully you can see it, is it was all on a pump, yeah, another pump. And the problem with the pump is that the pump is not just serving the shower. I mean, look at the state of this, it's gotta come out. You see all the lime scale on there? Just have a look in there, it's terrible. But as I was saying, the pump's not just serving the shower, the pump, it's running this, it's running the bath, but worst of all, it's actually running the toilet. So, this is the room in here, as you can see where we've started unloading the tools. Um, this is being done afterwards. The room in here is actually the bedroom. So here's the bedroom, that's the toilet in there. So if somebody gets up at night, wants to use the toilet, they flush the toilet and the pump kicks in. That's, that's, that's a pump noise, just in case you didn't know. The pump kicks in and obviously wakes the whole house up and particularly anybody else that's sleeping in this room. So the pump has got to go. We are going to put a shower pump in, but only to service the shower. We're going to put that up in the loft. We're going to make it a lot quieter. And we're going to get rid of that pump behind the cylinder there eventually. So as when anything is used during the night, it doesn't make a noise. The toilet doesn't need it. It doesn't need to be pumped. The basin doesn't need to be pumped. The pipe, the bath doesn't need to be pumped. If it's running 22 mil pipe, no pump is required at all. It's complete overkill. We need to get rid of it. And that's what we're going to do. Anyway, this is just a quick vlog. I'm going to show you the starting bar from there. I'm just going to show you the mess we're going to make today. Just taking a couple of the tiles off the bath. This is totally typical. Whoever did the job last just left all their crap underneath. As ever, you never know what you're gonna find on these jobs. And it's been another voyage of discovery. I mean, where do I start? You've seen some of the footage of the floor having to come up. But, number one, look how far they've cut down on this joist there. There's barely any left at the bottom. That's a massive no-no. You just don't know what's gonna show up till you start pulling things out. But I mean, that is a, a real worry there. We've got extensive damage all over here by the, by the shower. We've got a bit of the floor, which is just rotted away there. That's all gonna need to be replaced. There's a separate section here. The main bit is chipboard. And this bit is plyboard. That's the soil stack, soil stack there. They've just stuck tile adhesive straight over the top of it. I mean, they've done this job in a massive rush. The other thing that was a really big no-no is you can see here, these are the lines from the trowel where they put the tiles down. They've put the tiles down straight onto the floor. Now you meant to put something down, a bit of ply, a bit of, um, a bit of dura boards, uh, hardy backer boards, any number of things can go down there. But now what's happened is we've started to take the tiles up, some of them have come up, some parts have ripped the floor, so there's a, there's a repair job to be done with the floor. Uh, the walls, well, that's another, another story altogether, really. 
Well, this job never ceases to throw up surprises. Uh, what I'm going to have to do is, looking at it, I'm going to have to replace that floor. That was no good at all for all the reasons I said in the clip previously. I think what I'm going to do is cut it out, uh, put some new chipboard down because it's a chipboard floor. Then what we'll do is we'll, we'll ply line that and uh, then allow the finishing floor to go on top of that. Uh, looking at the joist, I think we're going to have to brace that together. There's a lot of work uh, that goes into these jobs that you just don't no, until you rip it out. Also, the tiles, they were so thick. Uh, they, it was on plasterboard, which is completely the wrong material, particularly for inside a shower area. No wonder they had leaks. There was so much weight on top of it as well. Uh, it's just one thing after another. But you know what I'm going to do? I, rather than do some massive video on the project, I'll, I'll keep you up to date in the project with a series of short videos, and then you can see what we do, see it progress, hopefully. To, uh, to a much nicer bathroom and at least we'll know that it'll be structurally sound, fitted properly and done with all the right materials.